Markovitz, presented by your local Ford stores. Meredith, as John just alluded to, with the issues the Yankees have currently in their starting rotation between COVID and injury, you'd think we're going to see quite a few arms tonight. There's no doubt about it, Ryan. This is a bullpen game for the Yankees. The first arm up will be Wandy Peralta. It'll be his first start ever throughout the course of his career and first appearance since coming off the COVID IL. Earlier today, I asked Aaron Boone why he decided to go with Wandy to start the game. Felt like there was a few ways we could have gone, um, you know, and just having conversations last night with Matt and Hark. Um, just felt like uh, that's that's how we wanted to start start the game, knowing that they would have some left and right, and you know we like him against both handed, and um, yeah, just felt like he was the guy. Do you look at it as an opening situation, or would you use him for more than one inning? Um, it, it, he could possibly go more than one inning if he's real efficient. Um, you know, so we'll we'll just see. I mean. You know, he, he's not going to go more than two innings, but it's just a matter of how efficient he is. And and so whether that's three, four, five, six batters, we'll just we'll just have to see. You're going to need to get a lot of outs thereafter. How do you anticipating navigating the rest of the game? Hopefully well. Um, you know, we have all the people down there to we feel like get it done. Obviously, we have more guys in the pen right now with a couple starters down. And so I feel like we're we're loaded up back there to to have the coverage and and hopefully um you know everyone can come in and, and play a little part tonight and the yankees are in pretty good shape when it comes to that bullpen two guys that are potential question marks are araldis chapman and chad green if you remember back to last night chapman threw 30 pitches in the ninth inning where he labored a little bit ultimately getting out of the inning but that's the most pitches he has thrown in three years he did have the previous three days off and chad green threw 27 pitches but had the previous four days off aaron boone said he will check in with both of those guys one guy that is really impressed since being a acquired from the Pirates before the deadline has been Clay Holmes. In four appearances, he has not allowed a run. He has not walked a batter. He has struck out three. Aaron Boone was asked about his impressions of Holmes so far. We were really excited to get him. You know, he was one of those first guys that we got a little bit, probably flew under the radar a little bit, but somebody that I think our front office has been targeting for a while and, you know, really liked what he brought. Um, especially against right-handed hitters um, and felt like he was a good complement to to you know some of the guys we have in the bullpen um, but we also feel like there's more in there as far as him continuing to get even better as a reliever I mean that he's got great stuff and um, you know he's really done a really good job of coming in and showing off that stuff but also pounding the strike zone and when I spoke to Holmes when he first joined the team, he told me his two-seamer is better than it's ever been, and he's throwing it with much more confidence. We have seen that so far in a Yankees uniform. As far as the Yankees lineup is concerned this evening, you are once again going to see Rugnet Odor at third base. He did play a little bit of third base during spring training, but until Gio Urshela went on the IL, he had not made a start during a regular season game. He has now started five games there, made seven appearances, and Aaron Boone was asked what he has thought of Odor at third so far. The good thing is he at least got to pl play a good amount in spring training with Texas, so we knew, um, you know, we knew he had at least done it and, and gotten good reviews on it and feels comfortable enough going over there. Um, you know, obviously, <clears throat> you know, we've, we've played him entirely at, at second until this past week where we wanted to limit DJ's throwing a little bit. Um, so I think he's held his own over there. Um, I still think it's it's just a matter of really getting that game experience um, um, where he'll continue to get better at understanding how you make certain plays over there. But he's been a solid defender for us. Especially, I mean, obviously he's been a good good defender for us at second, and I think going over the third, he's, he's held his own. Um, there's some things that he's just getting used to playing the position of how you make certain plays. Um, but, man, <clears throat> what a... You know, he's, he's been a big acquisition for us on both sides of the ball.